AFC Bournemouth have made a bid for the highly rated central midfielder Alex Scott, who plays for Bristol City. Mark McAdam did mention earlier on this week that our £15 million bid was knocked back. With Bristol City, the Robins, wanting around about £25 In this video, what we want to do is go through why really we should sign him. So Alex Scott grew up in Guernsey on the Channel Islands, of course, um, and is only 19 years old. Yep, he was born in 2003. Um, he had played 14 games for Guernsey before moving to Bristol City. But one key thing to remember is he was actually... He did trial with the youth team at AFC Bournemouth before, as well as uh, uh, that lot down the road. He's represented England at the under-18s, under-19s and under-20s. He hasn't got to the under-21s as yet, but I'm sure he will do next. Now, Bristol City gave him his first professional contract in 2021, and he actually made his debut in a one-all draw to Blackpool on the 7th of August, 2021. Now, of course, Alex Scott is a youngster. He hasn't played that much football. Well, I say that, he's played 83 times and scored five goals for the Robins. He's a central midfielder with a lot of pace, a lot of guile. He's also turned the heads of certain people in the game. Now, one of those people is a certain Pep Guardiola. Of course, Bristol City faced Manchester City in an FA Cup tie. And Pep turned around and said that he's an unbelievable player. And by Jack Grealish as well, by a top as a top, top talent. So Alex Scott is recommended by some of the best. But is this player who has never played in the Premier League worth another 10 million on top of the 15 million that we've already offered to Bristol City? That is the question. Well, he did win Bristol City's Player of the Year and also Young Player of the Year for his performances. But he also won the EFL's Young Player of the Season and was included in the EFL Championship Team of the Season. He's highly rated. But do the Cherries need him? Well, he is a central midfielder and he might be a youngster for the future who could replace the gap that has been left by Jefferson Lerma. Now, Alex Scott is very, very quick, very fast. What are the risks to this? Well, there has been players throughout the years. Let's look at the likes of Reese Oxford. Um, Reese Oxford, of course, was rated as highly as Declan Rice. We'll come back to him back in the day. However, has really never fulfilled that early promise. There's always that risk. Players that do come good very, very early on might not go to that next level. He's never played in the Premier League, so it is going to be a step up. But he has played very, very well in the Bristol City side, which, let's be honest, haven't set the championship alight. He's in the team of the season for Bristol City. And... Therefore, that's got to a credit for something, hasn't it? Well, there is teams waiting in the wings, and he's been linked to a number of Premier League clubs. Liverpool have been after him, and also West Ham United. There's probably others that are going to crop up, and no doubt, by the time this video is actually out there, I'm sure probably another three or four. Now, of course, West Ham have got some serious money because, of course, Declan Rice left West Ham United to go to Arsenal. Liverpool are one of the big boys, but we do have money to spend. And is this worthwhile? Now, some fans have turned around on Twitter and said that Alex Scott will be worth three times as much. There's not been that much knocking Alex's achievements. And to be honest... Alex has done an absolutely fantastic job, you know, at Bristol City. You know, he only played 15 games for Guernsey before Bristol City decided to make that plunge. And that says something. 
Bristol City, of course, were the club that also sold us Lloyd Kelly. And apart from the blip earlier on last season, let's be fair, every player gets them. Lloyd has been one of the good signings that we have made throughout these years. He's been solid. And apart from that little spell, nobody really can doubt him. Of course, Bristol City also um, was somewhere that Brett Pittman was. Alex Scott is a prodigy, as he's been mentioned by some. There's been articles written about him saying that he's the next big thing. And in the era now where £25 million is not a lot to pay for a player, let's be honest, back in my era when I was finishing school, Wayne Rooney left Everton to go to Manchester United for a ridiculous fee at that time. The ridiculous fees now are 100 million plus, of course. That's what Declan has left West Ham for. But 25 million, is it a gamble worth taking? What is my opinion? Well, He's very highly rated at international level. He's done very, very well for his club. He's been the shining light in that. It's a Nigel Pearson side, you know, that he's shone in. You know, Nigel Pearson, let's be honest, he's a tough, tough manager. He's going to be expecting the very, very best from Alex Scott. But Alex Scott has delivered. And that's why Nigel Pearson has put this massive figure on his head. In international duty, his first call-up to the England squad, the under-18s team, was in March 2021. And he came on as a second-half substitute in a 2-0 win against Wales. And then he made his debut for the England under-19s in a 2-0 victory over Italy at St George's Park. To be fair, his figures are pretty good. He also started in a game for the under-19s where they won the European Championships against Israel, a 3-1 extra time victory. And that's where he started. And then he made his debut um, in a 3-0 win over Chile um, for the under-20s. So his career has been very, very gradual and he's been really, really successful in doing that. To be fair, one of his only defeats for England was actually in the round of 16 defeat against Italy in the under-20s World Cup. Alex Scott, therefore, I think is worth paying this extra £10 But it's a credit to this football club that we're not being held to ransom. We aren't there to be taken the mick out of. Everybody knows that we've got wealthy owners now. And Bill Foley has gone to out of his way to invest in this football club. Of course, Laurier fans probably don't like us still. But by the by, what Bill Foley and also Richard Hughes and Neil Blake are doing, are doing a fantastic job of actually finding the talent for Iriola. And this is a player that would fit into Iriola's plans. He's fast. He's technical. He's very, very skillful. And he probably, you know, stands out in the Bristol City side so much because they've not been particularly very good. This player, though, is something special. And I think for £25 million, When you think, and I do believe what some people have said, could he triple in value? Quite possibly. Let's look at Declan Rice and what he's done. Okay, he was at West Ham from the very start. But at the same time, why could Alex Scott not do that? Alex Scott, you know, I think would be a shrewd signing. He might be one that we could loan back to Bristol City for half a season to give them that little bit of impetus and maybe drive that price down. Let's look at it this way. You don't get your 25 million, you maybe get 20 million, but you can have him back for half a season, you know, get you some points on the board. That might be a deal worth doing. 
he'd be getting that experience. He would be starting every week for Bristol City, has been all along. So that could well be something that Neil Blake and Richard Hughes are considering, are something that will work for Bristol City as well as us. And I think, you know, it would be a great credit to this football club to bring in a player like this who does offer so much and is exciting for the future. It is a signing which does make sense from AFC Bournemouth's perspectives. And therefore, I think, personally, we should bring him in. Do let us know what you think and let us know whether or not you agree. Should we bring in Alex Scott? Have you seen enough of him? I'm sure Bristol City fans will know that he's highly rated. And what could he do in football? Could he go to the very, very top? Is AFC Bournemouth just a stepping stone for Alex Scott? Onto something even bigger? Maybe like Declan Rice has? To be honest, I wouldn't begrudge him that. If we signed him for 20, 25 million, and then he went on and we sold him for 75, 80, 90, 100, 110, never know, then you couldn't begrudge him that move to win things and be successful. I think it's a no-brainer. It's a risk worth taking this one, considering, yes, we do have other priorities. We've got other areas of the pitch where we probably do need to strengthen. But this is a risk worth taking. And therefore, I think we should go for Alex Scott. Let us know what you think in the comments. But until the next show, over and out, up the cherries.